What a time to be alive, huh? Holy cow. I am every single day finding myself getting more angry and more frustrated and more perturbed. They couldn't wait one day after Trump was nearly assassinated to go right back to the rhetoric about what an evildoer he is and how he's dangerous and how he's got to be stopped. They, they couldn't. Can you imagine the insanity of somebody trying to kill Hillary or Barack Obama or Joe Biden or Kamala? And the day after, we would go on the airwaves and say, well, they got to be stopped. They're dangerous. They're, they're ter-. Do you, know what, you know what an awful person you have to be to not wait one day? Not a day. Hillary Clinton, arguably the, the, the queen of misinformation and disinformation and election interference, uh, the architect of the Russian dossier, the lady who did all she could do to get elected, come hook, line, or, or sinker, she goes on MSNBC yesterday, the day after another assassination is thwarted, and says this. And I don't understand why it's so difficult for the press to have a consistent narrative about how dangerous uh, Trump is. Uh, you know, the late great uh, journalist Harry Evans, uh, you know, one time uh, said that, uh, you know, journalists uh, should, you know, really try to achieve objectivity. And by that, he said, I mean, they should cover the object. Well, the object in this case is Donald Trump. Uh, his demagoguery, his uh, danger to our country and the world, and stick with it. The day after they tried to kill him. The day after, and incidentally, thank God for Ron DeSantis, and I mean that sincerely. Florida is going to investigate this. He's, of course, a former JAG lawyer, uh, and he has been so good and so strong. He's what a leader looks like. And he's going to investigate. Uh, Florida will not turn this over to the feds. This happened in Florida, not Pennsylvania. And it's going to be a new day. Look, I, uh, I admit that I'm, I'm weary and wary and tired and anxious and frustrated. And I, it, one of my kids actually last week said, Dad, take a little break. Get away from it for a few days, and I'm going to. I'm going to be off the rest of the week, taking some vacation days. My buddies uh, Joey Hudson and Mark Davis will be guest hosting, and I'll be back Monday. But I'm going to come back with a new sense of resolve. Look, no more Mr. Nice Guy. If they don't want to even begin to pretend to be civil, why should why should we try to take the high road? And you go down the list of Hillary and, of course, all the clowns on MSNBC, Neil Cavuto over at Fox, they're blaming Trump, essentially, for trying to get killed, for, for nearly getting killed. I mean, it's, it's like they're mad that the assassination was thwarted. If I, I, I hate to say it, but when you call him Hitler enough and somebody is ready to kill him, and they fail, they double down. If you they, can this, manage they, to they, put they, some... they ramp it up. They go right into mode of uh, he's the devil, he's got to be stopped, he's the threat to democracy, he's dangerous. I, I mean, here's a guy on Fox News yesterday, Paul Morrow, pointing out, if you call a guy like Donald Trump Hitler enough, somebody's going to try to kill him. If you can manage to put somebody in the Hitler box, which they throw at us all the time, they used to do the same thing with Bush. People think all this is new. I remember this going on with W. And if you can put people in that box, then what are you doing? You're saving democracy. You're saving the world. So anything is justified. And now you see it in the statements that you're referring to from Jeffries and even that first commentator uh, on the air saying it's the supporters as well. So, you know, what is that advocating? And you look, where does that go? That, where does that end up? Civil war? What do you want with that kind of rhetoric? What do they want? Do they want civil war? Because they pretend that more than half the country isn't in Trump's corner. They act like they're in the super majority, that 90% of Americans despise the guy. And they're delusional. 
new polling out today, I mean, don't look now. But if the election are held today, he wins easily. According to Nate Silver, according to Trafalgar, according to Ips. Oh, you go down the list of all these polls. Yeah, there are polls that show her winning the popular vote. That isn't the way it works in America. And I'm not convinced she'll win the popular vote either. But she doesn't have to. He doesn't have to win the popular vote. And according to just about every single poll out, Trafalgar this morning, he is up two points in Pennsylvania. Again, hate to break it to you, he's winning. And they know it. Listen to this CBS reporter on the CBS morning show talking about their visit to Nevada and how they went from diner to diner to restaurant to restaurant to look for Harris supporters. Well, uh, needless to say, they came up short. We had like that. so much fun. But what was really incredible is in every single restaurant of the people willing to talk to us, we could only find one Harris supporter in mm. every restaurant. And we left no stone unturned. I approached every single huh. person. Hmm. Hmm. You know, it was really astounding. We could only find, we tried. We went from restaurant to restaurant looking for Harris supporters in Nevada. We could only find one per restaurant. I'd like to talk to a Harris supporter. What do you think she's going to do for this country? <laughs> I mean, what what in the world do you think she's going to bring to the table? My gosh, and Hillary Clinton of of all of the nerve of that that person to to call somebody else dangerous. Wow. I I don't want to be mean here. I'm just going to quote the texter from Columbus, Ohio. And this is personal, but I guess, you know, sorry. They don't want to be nice. I don't want to be nice. And again, I'm citing a Mike Gallagher Show texter who texted the MyPillow text line at 800-655-MIKE, which anyone can do, 800-655-6453. And Columbus writes, hey, Mike, you need to cut Hillary a little bit of slack. She's still bitter about the villagers running her out of Transylvania back in the 1400s. Breaking now on the Mike Gallagher Show. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been just splendid. He's been so good uh, on, on so many levels, and he's taking charge, frankly, of the investigation into the Trump assassination attempt in his state of Florida. Look, he doesn't trust the feds any more than the rest of us do. Ashley Moody, the great attorney general, uh, Governor DeSantis and Attorney General Moody both giving a press conference moments ago. We'll play some of that press conference for you coming up in just a moment. In the meantime, to your phone calls. Kelly in North Carolina. Kelly, welcome aboard. You're first up on the Mike Gallagher Show. How you doing? Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm fired up. I'm just fed up. <laughs> and I need, hey, a, I need a break. How about you? <laughs> Amen to that. I can remember in 2016 during that election when she had got in, I was going to move to England. Can't be under somebody as evil as her. I mean, how bad do you have to be? Is there not a shred of decency in this woman's body? She doesn't know what that is. I, you, she, she can't. I get that they're worried that he's going to win. I get that they're upset. You don't go the day after he nearly gets killed and call him dangerous. Who does that, no. Kelly? Exactly, exactly. Evil no people. Compa- no compassion. Evil people, no <laughs> compassion, no dignity, no class, no grace. No, no civility, and they want to call Trump the bad guy. Got to be kidding me. Phil's in P- Pennsylvania. Hey, Phil. Hey, Mike. Hi. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I wanted to say when Hillary said that Trump is dangerous, she's actually she's actually right. He's dangerous to her, the deep state, <laughs> and everything that's involving the assassination and taking Trump out, she's basically saying the truth. But she's not talking about the American people here. Right. She's talking to her clan and those people. And just like Kamala Harris wouldn't say, wouldn't deny that she's a Marxist, these people want to change the projection of our country. And there's a lot of people that are just so blinded by that that they're going to vote for her not even realizing what they're doing. Look, there's the there the, is- look, the deep state 
has never, ever, ever been threatened like this. Ever. They they know what right. he's going to do if he gets into office, and they're all. That's why you've got establishment Republicans who hate him because they're part of it. They are they are establishment types that have never had their apple cart knocked over like this. Bill, Phil, never, too never. Too many rhinos. The last time, Mike, too many rhinos in his cabinet and his administration, and he needs to weed them out. Uh, I think an overhaul. I think the best thing that Trump could possibly do is overhaul the entire government, and I think a lot of people want that. You bet, but there's a I, lot of people. Really but, 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 but there's a lot of people. But there's a lot of people who don't. There's a lot of people who are going to resist and push. Look, they're trying to kill him, Phil. I mean, how right. much? How much more obvious does it get? They've impeached it him. They've it. indicted him. They've convicted him. They've threatened him with incarceration, and they've tried now twice to kill him. And you know, somebody sent me a note and said, "Oh, you're saying the Democrats?" Try-. I'm not saying the Democrats themselves are pulling the trigger, although this guy sure isn't a registered Republican. The guy that made, what, 30 contributions to the Democrats allegedly had a Harris Walls campaign sticker on his car and is a, a Ukraine fanatic uh, and wrote a book about needing to assassinate Trump. Hardly call him a Republican. But what I'm saying is there are evil forces that are all joining together to stop Trump at any, at, at, at any cost, whatever it takes. And we should have seen this when they came up with the phony uh, in indictments and the phony criminal charges and the whole crap about threatening to incarcerate him and all the, and, and and look he doesn't win he'll go to prison you better understand that and that's what's all on the line that's what's at the on the line I'm going to take you to Florida I want you to hear from Governor Ron DeSantis and Attorney General Ashley Moody that and a whole lot more coming up on this Tuesday episode of the Mike Gallagher Show. <laughs> 